All right, guys, welcome to your Delta Math assignment. I just want to go through this really quickly, make sure that you understand how Delta Math works if you haven't used it before. I think a lot of you have actually used Delta Math before, so if you have, just kind of bear with me as we kind of talk about some of uh, the basics here. Uh, if you're seeing, this is the screen you should be seeing. It should look something like this. You've got simplifying radicals practice. Um, and you should have this guided assignment. It should say probably zero out of 10. I've, I've done a few practice problems here before uh, shooting this video. So go ahead and click on your simplifying radicals problem. So notice here they're giving us root 300. Now this is review, we should feel fairly confident. If you're not feeling confident even after watching this video, you can always hit this show example problem um, and it will show you a an example of how to solve a problem. So. Um, you can always go back here. Now, um, let's take a look at this. Remember, when we're dealing with radicals, what we want to do is is divide out um, we're going to divide out perfect squares. Your perfect squares are like four, nine, uh, 16, 25. So like two squared is four, so four is a perfect square. Three squared is nine, that's a perfect square, and so on. So let's take a look here. What can I divide out of 300 that's a perfect square? Well, probably four, right? Um, if I divide uh, let's find out. Notice up here is your calculator button, or you could use uh, Desmos here. And so we've got 300. Up, oh, let me reset that. All right, so 300 divided by four, and I get 75. So sure enough, I can just break this into four times 75, and that checks out. So what's square root of four? Well, that's equal to two, and that's root 75. All right. Root 75, it looks like I've got another perfect square in there, so it doesn't look like it's an even, so it's not 4, uh, and it's not 16. I don't think I can divide a 9 out of that, but 25, I think I can divide a 25 out of that. Uh, so that's 25 times 3, right? And 25, root 25 is 5. Root 3, that's going to stay there. And 2 times 5, that's going to be 10, root 3. And that looks like that's as simple as I can get. And sure enough, it says you're done. Hit submit. So I hit submit. Yes, I want to submit that answer. And notice it gives me my fastest path and my slowest path. So my fastest path would be to recognize that 100 is a perfect square. That's 10 squared, right? Uh, the slowest path would be to go the route that we did, where you pull out a 4 and then a 25. But either way, you end up at the same solution of 10 root 3. So you should, um, and then hit next problem when you're ready to roll. You should get to 10 out of 10. Um, if you miss some, it may knock your score down, but, but you should get this score up to 10 out of 10 in order to get full credit for this assignment. Uh, so I, I think this is something really manageable. It should be a very easy assignment. It shouldn't take long at all. Uh, but I do want to make sure that you can log into Delta Math. You can do an assignment. That score is going to get sent to me. And if there's a problem, we can take care of it this week and not have to worry about some of this stuff um, next week when we get into some geometry. So go ahead. Do your work on simplifying radicals. Hit the example if you need help. And uh, this will wrap up your work for uh, Delta Math this week.